Thank you. Well, the massive oil hemorrhage in the Gulf may soon get some help from a local firm in Nelson County to help clean things up. Here's CBS 19's Bianca Spinoza with the latest on an amazing product she first told us about last week. What more can you tell us? Well, Tiffany, we've seen some of the desperate measures BP has taken for cleaning up this massive oil leak. In some cases, they were essentially trying to scoop up the oil with pieces of cloth. Well, now we're learning that BP is about to use the peat product that a Nelson County couple has been lobbying for. This Nelson County couple's passion for the environment is paying off. The first two truckloads are going down. Nearly a thousand bags of Canadian peat are heading to Louisiana to clean up the oil, steadily washing ashore in the wetlands. It has been incredible. Like, it, it's more than just about the spill and the, and the product. I mean, people have just been pulling together. McGrowney's husband, John, always eager to demonstrate the product, creating a simulated wetland environment. The Gulf oil has made its way to Florida already. People there are ordering the product from the Nelson couple. Greenpeace actually came in because we, so, we were selling to Greenpeace. Um, they came in and they went and purchased 20 bags from her, and they're going to go in and start laying and those cove areas in there so that they could at least keep that area clean for the dolphins. BP hoping this product will clean their waters safely. Birds and other wildlife are starting to die. They can go in there, they could still be in their nests and stuff, it will not hurt them. The couple won't be getting rich from this, at least not yet. BP purchased the same product from a larger American distributor for Louisiana cleanup. But the McGrownies say their passion is peat, not profit. Now, if you're wondering what's going to happen to all that peat and moss once it absorbs the oil, well, today I got some leftover from last week's demonstration, and it has basically become a fertilizer. The peat broke down the oil so that you can grow seeds in it, and the McGrowdies like to grow lima beans in theirs, so once that peat is collected, it can be used for fertilizer. Reporting live in the Newsplex, Bianca Spinoza, CBS 19 News.